Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is a pleasure to have you here. So sit down and get comfortable because it is time for another episode of my devlog series. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm just a guy making its first rich platform game. And without further ado, let's see where we left off last month. So in the last devlog I was polishing some of the previous zones of the game, and I was working on the mechanics of the final zone. And as you can see, the level is feeling a bit empty because we don't have any tile sets nor a parallax background. That's why the first thing I started doing was the tile sets of the zone. In order to create a tileset, the first thing you need to have in mind is how do you want the sun to look and feel. And in this case, I want the sun to be like an ancient sky civilization. So, now that we know what we want, the next step will be looking for references to inspire us. And I personally used Pinterest to do this task. And once you get the idea of how you want your tileset to look like, it is time to start drawing it. So, I started the process of drawing the tileset. I did multiple iterations and I added them to the game to test and see which one looked and felt better. And one thing that I think is important to mention is that probably you won't get your tile set right the first time. As a matter of fact, it took me several redesigns to get to my final tile set. The key here is taking the best of each iteration you make. Develop over that and you will start seeing how you are getting closer to the idea that you had in mind. And based in that process is how I get the tile sets for this zone. What do you think guys about it? Once I have finished that, I just started working on the level design of the zone. And this part is mostly about trying and testing the mechanics in different configurations but having in mind the player capabilities and knowledge that they have until now. And it is important to design right the first part of the level to start teaching the player the new mechanic. For example, imagine that this is our first time in the zone, and we know nothing about it. We will identify what he knows, he will see the platform where he can jump and the objective that he has to reach, but it will see that just with that it is impossible to get there. So he will analyze the scene and eventually he will see the eye. And because there is nothing else in the scene, the normal reaction will be to touch that eye. So he will jump, touch the eye and see that now he is floating and new mechanics are appearing in the scene. Now with those new mechanics in the scene, he will try to jump again and reach the objective that he couldn't reach before. By doing this, we have taught the player a new mechanic and how it works. So the next time he sees an impossible objective to reach, he will know that with touching the eye, the path will be revealed to reach the objective. And that is some of the process that I follow to introduce a new mechanic to the player. Now, I wanted to keep adding them to the level, and in order to do so, I made new tilesets for the sound. I added a parallax effect to the clouds, and I added a background for the level having in mind the thematic of the sound. And this is how it looks. Moving on to the next part, I thought it was time to improve the dash effect of the player, because until now it was just a placeholder effect. So I started drawing new sprites and animations for the effect, and I added them to the game to see which iteration looked the best. After each iteration, everything was reduced to only two options, which are the following. And I asked you guys on Twitter which one you liked the most, and the majority of you say that the option 1 looked the best. So I started working with that and improving the animation of it. And this is the new dash effect. I think it looks pretty cool, but what do you guys think of it? Currently I am working on the second half of the final zone. As you can see, this is the place between the two faces of the zone. I still need to create some more assets to the second half of the level, and to polish a new mechanic that I am working on. But that will be a story for the next devlog. And well, that is what I did in this month of development. Tell me what do you guys think about the song? Are you liking it so far? 
I want to thank you all for watching the video until the final and I hope you had enjoyed this devlog. Remember that any comment or suggestion is well received. And that's all of my part for now. I hope you have an excellent day and I'll see you later guys. Take care.